something you can't open? I, I can't open it? But, but look at it. It's so pretty and ready to be opened. What's pretty about it? It's a basic box, Coco. Yes, basic, but unique and perfect. Um, I guess. Anyways, you can see what's in it after you clean your room, do your homework, and everything else you're supposed to get done. Oh, well, can I get a hand? Absolutely not. You've got enough hands. I'm going to relax. Well, well, after I do half, can I just take a half peek? No. Wow. Wow is correct. Now get to work. Uh, okay, well, hey, I, I guess I'll vacuum first. Sounds good. <laughs> over there you, you know what great question that i just don't happen to have the answer to at this moment but can i get back to you in a few go do what you need to do <laughs> on it okay so i was thinking maybe i can go ahead and take that peek no fine Something, huh? Box, please. I guess you earned it. Here you go. Finally. <laughs> um, I, I think this is the wrong box. No, it's the right one. The one I was taking out to the garbage can. But, th but there's nothing in it. I know. And it's a shame it took me to fake like there was something in the box to get you to do your chores correctly. Well, now I know you're highly capable. <laughs> Couldn't be happier to help. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Mm, mm, mm. Mama, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> well, you deserve it. I'm really proud of you for getting all A's in one B. You worked hard for that. I did, but it was challenging. But like you always say, I don't just go to school to have fun. I go to school to grow and so that I could be somebody when I get older so I could live in my purpose. That's right. You have to struggle a little bit while you're young, vibrant, and living off my money <laughs> so you could be free and well off when you're an adult. Understood. Because you know, if you want to be somebody and you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, get to finishing up those invitations so you can pass them out of school, okay? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh, wait, my first sleepover. I'm so excited. I never thought I'd see the day. Mama doesn't even let her own nieces and nephews come over, let alone my friends. I'm home! Well, hello, ma'am. How was school? Well, you know the regular. Jeredia let the ant out the ant farm and it got a Sarah sandwich. Ugh. Let's just say that he's resting in peace. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, it's not what I was expecting, but it's great to see you in high spirits. <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course, I passed out all my invitations and everybody's excited to come. Well, how many did you pass out? Just like 56. What? Coco, I told you I'm the- I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just invited seven people. Girl. It's just a little jokey joke. Okay, great. Well, I'll get everything ready for this weekend. Okay, don't forget the pieces. <laughs> Mama, guess what? It's my sleepover day. I, I know, I know, and I know you're excited. Excited is an understatement. Mama, this is going to be the best sleepover, hands down, talk of the school. Of course, with your help. Mm-hmm, of course, with my money. <laughs> All right, everything's already set up upstairs, so go ahead and get ready before they get here. Mama, they, they don't like me. Oh, Coco, that's not 
true. I am sure they're on their way. Do you want to go ahead and give them a call? Okay, I could try. Okay. supposed to be here four hours ago oh well uh, maybe something came up with all of them you know the aliens everyone has been talking about maybe they got sucked up by those <sighs> okay maybe not you know, i'll be right back hey girl i need some help sharing a cocoa what these little crumb snatchers did not show up to my baby my baby sleepover that she earned Girl, I am calm, but I'm about to have some problems with some parents very soon. I mean, how are you going to confirm and not even show up? Except, okay, okay, I'm calm, I'm calm. I'll call you back. How you feeling, kiddo? Sad, like, real sad. Like, why didn't my homies come through for me sad? Coco, how about you You and me have a girls' night together? Well, that's impossible. How is it impossible? There's two of us. We're girls. Girls' night. Well, you said girls, and there's only one girl here, me, and an older lady, you. You know what? You're lucky you're having a bad day. Let me see that. See what? Flyer. Coco, you did it again. The date. The date is wrong on the flyer, and that's why no one is here. Uh-uh, no way. I checked that flyer ten times. Well, I hate to tell you, but today is March 9th, and you put the 16th. What? Did the days go back? No, only time does that. Uh -oh. Well, I guess I should delete all those mean things I said about them in my head, huh? <laughs> Yes, and how about we don't say mean things at all, even if things don't go our way? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, Mama, do you think that you can still get the 10 pieces today and then get them again when I actually have my sleepover? No. Oh, well, it was worth the try. Woohoo! Older lady and girls night! Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Hey, Mama, what you doing? Hey, Coco, I'm just folding this laundry. How are you doing? How I'm doing doesn't matter. Today is officially National Mama's Day and it's all about you. Do you need anything? Oh, that's so sweet. Well, no, not at the moment, but I more than likely will eventually. Okay, well, you just let me know how I can assist and I'll be there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'll be out there. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, sister. Okay, so Rhea, I need your help. No. What? Wait, you didn't even hear what I had to say. I don't want to hear it because I already know it's going to be something crazy. Mm -hmm. Me. You know what? What? What is it, Coco? Uh, well, since you asked, I heard Mama gets a few tax credits on her taxes because of us. And? Do you even know what taxes are? <sighs> For your information, I do. It's money that working people pay over a year to fund government activities. And then from January to April, they get refunds back for having kids like us. Oh, impressive. I, I guess you are a little smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. So this is a time that we have to be super nice to mama. I already told her it's called National Mama's Day. I mean, I guess she wouldn't get those credits if it wasn't for us. And I do need some new clothes and shoes. You know what? Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. What are you ladies up to? Oh, nothing. But I did hear today is National Mama's Day. Mm, I heard that too. <laughs> so what's on the agenda? Uh, how about a foot rub? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> have been killing me. Well, probably go ahead and sit right there, mama. <laughs> no, my goodness. What's the matter? It, it, it's just that your feet's 
smell this like so good. What kind of soap is this? Corn chips. I mean, it, it, it smells so good, right, Ria? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that feels so nice. Like, I love that you're liking it, mama. Yes, that's the spot right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can wake up now, mama. We're done. You know, ladies, this was an amazing day. I'm so thankful for it all. Well, I'm so glad that you like it, but I'm so sorry that it has to end. Yeah, so sad. You ladies really did a good job. I mean, we worked so hard. You did, thank you. Uh, Mama, you know, I've been meaning to ask you, have you started your taxes yet? Huh? That's a random question, but yes, I finished them a month ago. Wow, that was a long time ago. No, it was a month ago. Why are you all concerned about my taxes? Uh, well, according to my research, because of us, you get a tax credit. Girl! And with that credit, I... I mean, we... We're wondering, could we get a few things? Excuse me, so this is why it was National Mama's Day? Yes, but it was kind of Rhea's idea. Girl, please, I didn't even know a lot about taxes until you came in here with your Google notes. Well, Mama, we would have still celebrated you, but it probably would have not have been today. First of all, those credits are payback for all the money your father and I spent on you over the year. Second, not everyone gets a tax refund. Third, we are those people who do not and have to pay back taxes. Oh, I must have forgot to read that part. But sorry, Rhea, you're not going to get those shoes. And you're not getting anything either. Uh, oh, well, I guess I deserve that. Wait, so you're not getting any money back? No. As usual, you've wasted my time. Oh, Rhea, at, at least we got some sister-sister bonding time, right? <laughs> hey, Coco Beans. Uh, uh, hey, Mama, um, can I use you as a contestant for one of my tricks that I learned? Oh, sure, baby girl. You know Mama is always your number one fan. You see, that's why you're my favorite Mama. <laughs> I'm your only Mama. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, sit right here. All right, let me get comfortable. So what's the trick? Uh, I've been practicing hypnosis. Girl, that stuff does not work. No, it's a process, but it definitely works. Okay, I'll play along. No, Mama, this is serious. Now, please close your eyes and follow my commands. Okay, if you say so. Okay, here we go. You are a goat on a boat next to a big float. You need a coat, but you stay woke. What in the world? Shh, Mama. Focus. Okay, okay. There you go. All right, here we go. You are a goat on a boat next to a float. You need a coat, but you stay woke. Kalamazoo, Kalamazam, Kalamazoo, Kalamazam. You are under my trance. Anything I say, you will do, because I'm Coco and I rule you. <laughs> Okay, that's right, Mama. Continue to do as I say. Under my command, you will drift away. Now fly. Fly, fly. Fly, birdie, fly, birdie. Fly, fly, fly. Dance. Hey, hey go, Mama. Go, Mamas. Hey, go, Mamas. Stop. Okay, I got it. Do the Macarena. Ready? Go. One and a two and a three macarena. Four and a five and a six macarena. Seven eight nine macarena. Hey, macarena. Go to the beach, mama. Hey, rah, 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 
Okay, you're clucking. Good. That means yes. Okay, now get up and come over here with me. I have some questions for you. Right there. Just stay right there. Okay, cool. Mama. Mm. Ari and Rhea have been saying for a long time that I'm not yours. Was I adopted? <laughs> Never mind, I don't want to know because I am yours and your heart is my home. Now wake up. Coco, I told you this wasn't going to work. Why am I down here? Because you were under my hypnosis. No, I wasn't. Uh, yes, you were. And you actually still kind of are because it doesn't wear off completely for the next 12 hours. Now cluck. <laughs> what is happening? What did you do? <laughs> A hypnotist never tells his truth. Oh my goodness, this thing is so old and dirty. Mm, you are so ugly. It's just why, why do you even, why she have this? I know he's got to be around here somewhere. Mr. Face, where are you? I can't look at you all day. What are you screaming about? Mr. Face. Well, I don't think he would be under the blanket. I thought maybe he was trying to play hide and go seek. I don't know. Well, where's the last place you had him? Well, um, Mama, if I knew that, I probably would have him. But he probably was in your room last. Coco, you know that bear was not in my room. Actually, I don't know. And why are you so defensive? Are you hiding something, Mama? Maybe my bear? Uh, Ma'am, I do not have your bear. Well, according to my analysis, someone here has to have it, and it's only two people here, and that's you and me, Mama. So, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Y yes, I do mind. Now, excuse me. Uh, wait. Uh, I apologize for my aggressiveness. I'm just really sad because I can't find Mr. Face. Oh, uh, well, how about we go and get a new gadget that you might like that's more for your age? For my age? What made you say that? Well... I feel like you may have outgrown Mr. Face, and it's just maybe time for something new. But I don't want anything new. Oh, that's what you say now, but you'll forget about Mr. Face in no time. Will I? Mama, why is it so easy for you to just tell me to give up on Mr. Face? Oh, no, I didn't say it was easy. I just... Sorry. I have a few questions. Do you not like Mr. Face? No, I loved him. He was just getting old. Loved? Uh, old? Mama, he doesn't even have a heart or anything to get old. He can live longer than a human being. So old is not even in his nature. Mama, wh when's the last time you saw Mr. Face? Um, a few d days ago. Well? Um, in the hallway. <sighs> Okay, and what happened when you saw him? I, um, I picked him up and examined him. <sighs> Did you put him back after doing that? I, I put him up somewhere. Up? Uh, uh, Mama, where is up? Because I've been looking up and I don't see a trace of him. Now that I think about it, his clothes are missing too. And his shoes. Have you seen them? Uh, What's wrong, Mama? Hi, I'm I'm sure he's fine. Well, how would you know he's fine if you haven't seen him in the last few days? I just have a feeling that he's good. Mama, what happened to Mr. Face? Nothing. I am sure he's fine. <laughs> Mama. Huh? Where's Mr. Face? Okay, yes, yes, I did it. I gave Mr. Face away to a little girl who would love him just like you. I just feel like you outgrew him and it was time. I'm sorry, Coco. How could you do that to me? He meant the world to me. He made me smile so big and you just took him from me. I'm sorry. I guess I gotta live with it now. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna look past his smile. <laughs> Coco, stop crying. Stop, stop crying. I know I should have talked to you about this. And going forward, I promise we'll go through your old things together and see what we're able to do, okay? Okay. Uh, what new toy were you thinking about getting me? Because you said because I'm getting old. So I was thinking maybe a new laptop or... or, or... Oh, you sure?
sure, getting expensive. I was thinking like a ball. <laughs> no, I'll take the laptop. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty pigtails and a smile.